Good day, dear viewers, and welcome to today's edition of our program, Discovering Abilities in Disability. I am your presenter, Ekeoma Blessing. Well, on today's program, our guest is no other person than artist, artist Peter Kingsley Ekeoma, a multi-talented person who had discovered lots of ability in his physical disability. Before we get to introduce our special guests for today, let us view this documentary. In our world today, several persons have one challenge or the other, which hinders them from carrying out a particular task. These challenges could be physically or mentally related. Disability is a physical or mental condition that limits a person's movement, senses or activities. They range from amputation, visual impediments, mental disorder, auditory impediments, etc. Presently, it has been agreed that those living with any form of disability should not be addressed with names or tags such as handicapped, disabled, minor, etc. to avoid demoralization and further deformation of their personality. However, what matters to some persons is not the tags or names by which they are referred. Rather, it is how they embrace their turning point and are able to turn their disability into ability. Ekoma Peter Kingsley, popularly known as Peter Kings, is one of such physically challenged persons who had turned his disability into several abilities. He hails from a Bomobimberi, Mbitoli local government area of Imo State. Peter Kingsley is the third son of a family of six, four males and two females. An interview with Peter Kingsley reveals how he was amputated at the tender age of 13. But rather than joining the League of Destitute Beggars in the streets, he said capital no to his disability by turning the stumbling blocks to a stepping stone. Since the amputation of his left hand, Peter Kings had refused to wallow in self-pity. He vehemently refused to give up. During the early part of his secondary education, he traded towards the life of hope by discovering and producing prosthesis, an artificial hand for himself. Although nothing good comes easy, passing through so many challenges has fiercely shaped the life of Peter Kings. Peter Kingsley Akoma dealt a great blow to his challenges by enrolling for higher education, the result of which is the achievement of the following certificates and degrees. NCE, Fine and Applied Arts. BEAD, Fine and Applied Arts from River State College of Education. MA, Fine Arts and Design, University of Port Harcourt. And he's at the moment studying for his PhD in action painting, which he titled A La Prima of Echo. Peter Kingsley is a multi talented person, he's a music maker a composer, a choir master. A dancer, a soloist. Who kicks again every odds about in humanity? An actor. Yeah. Yeah. A motivational speaker with several organizations. Then you have to correct the bad ones so as to have a better future. Peter Kings is a member of several professional art bodies, namely Society of Nigerian Artists, the Messengers Group of Artists, 
among others. According to the self-acclaimed artist, artist Peter Kingsley, there is a colorful ability in every disability. Sir, what have you to say about these great artists? Oh, Mr. Peter Kingsley is a person endowed with rich reserves. God really blessed him. He's someone with disability. But he never allowed his disability to deter him from his abilities. In fact, he epitomized the fact that there is ability in disability. For in his disability, this man is an artist. He paints. In fact, I've not seen an artwork comparable to his. He's a painter. In fact, do you know that he's pursuing his PhD in fine art? With one hand, he paints, he draws. To tell you the strength God has given to someone who is with disability. So to all others who are disabled, there is a strength God has given you. You need to discover it like Peter Kings has discovered this and utilizes very well. Heavens will even be your starting point to life. Thank you so much, sir. I must appreciate you for your time. As a colleague of his, what have you to say about this artist? Wow. All right, nice program with Peter Kingsley. I have a whole lot of things to say about Peter Kings. But I would choose to say just one thing that I've learned from Peter Kingsley's art. What I have learned is that disability encourages innovation. Peter Kingsley's act is reactionary. Peter Kings belongs to the kind of artist you call the avant-garde artist. Those who repudiate or those who, gains, who go <clears throat> against traditionalism in painting. And I tend to find a blend between his painting and his disability. First of all, I see his disability as a limitation. And if you look at Peter Kingsley, you find out that he designed a prosthesis for himself, an artificial hand. And he does that in order to triumph over the limitation of the disability. And that act is a reaction against a limitation. And so you can see that in his painting. The first time he did a work on abortion, he did it the second time he's out uh, right now, he's working on the destruction of the natural environment. And all his works is poised with the desire to react against the wanton destruction of the environment, against the destruction of human life in, through abortion. If you see that, you actually find a blend between disability in the human form and disability in the destruction of the natural environment. And Peter Kingsley, trying to triumph over his disability, uses art to also, to also speak against limitations which human being uses to destroy the human environment. So you can see a blend between Peter Kings as an artist, Peter Kings as a disabled person, and a blend with what he paints. And so there is always a kind of encouragement arising from his disability. And for that reason, I can say through the life of Peter Kings, I've learned that disability is also an encouragement for what innovation. That's all I think I know about Peter King. Oh, artist Peter King is a good friend of mine. And to be honest with you, he's a man that doesn't tolerate nonsense. He's very, very resilient. And to top it all, as somebody who is physically challenged, the manner in which he has overcome such challenges and he has used his... Uh, uh, creative abilities to completely overcome the challenges of uh, 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 his, his physical nature. It baffles me. I respect him a lot and I admire his resilience. He's such a man that, you know, one can set as a role model. Very intelligent, creative, and that is something that a lot of people who find themselves in such uh, situations should try to emulate. He's a good man, and I admire him for that. Wow, dear viewers, let's meet artist, artist Peter Kingsley. Artist, you are welcome. Thank you. You deserve a handshake. Thank you. Have you seen all you have achieved? I'm sorry, I hope I'm not going too far, but how did you, did you sustain this injury? 
you're not going too far indeed uh, because uh, I have grown uh, across or I've grown over uh, uh, self uh, sympathy you know uh, well uh, according to the documentary you had it all that this happened at my tender age of 13 years I was too tender I was small after my primary education I was so brilliant I passed my entrance examination to the secondary education, but because of financial constraint, my father couldn't pay my school fees. So I, you know, went with him uh, to, you know, do farm activity, uh, precisely garret grinding uh, 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 services. Or he has this uh, cassava grinding machine that I was, you know, managing at that tender age. Uh, accidentally or incidentally my left hand was you know you know cut off you know by the wrist it got off <laughs> it was a black day <laughs> but by God's grace you know God in, the, in his infinite mercy made it in a way that I didn't uh, die I didn't die so that was how the injury was sustained but after the incident I had no option you know than to go to school you know I passed through my secondary education with flying colors, university and all that, with flying colors and, you know, <laughs> that's, that's what really happened, yeah. All right. Dear viewers, you've heard it all from artist, artist Peter Kingsley. Now for those of you who see your physical or mental challenge as a burden, now let's hear from the artist the challenges he has faced over the years at the cost of practicing his art career yeah i had a lot of challenges the first challenge i had was um, um uh, the challenge that has to do with you know uh, using both hands you know to work is it wasn't easy because having lost my left hand i looked deformed and uh, there is this interest i had in music making i was small when i was small i said when i grew up i was going to be a choir master but having lost my left hand, he, it could be so disastrous emotionally, you know, to go into choir conducting. You know, but uh, God really revealed to me uh, during my uh, uh, first stage of my secondary education, uh, are, we are taught about how to do paper mache. Paper mache is the combination of starch and paper to build a solid font. So a, a, on a good day, we are given an assignment to make on under craft, you know, craft. So I I was designing the cow horn. I hadn't left hand to hold the cow horn so as to make designs on it. So I immersed it in my half cut hand. You know, that was it was like wow. So something could be immersed in the half cut hand to assume a hand. That was how God revealed to me that I could make something that looks like a prosthesis, a prosthesis, an artificial hand. So I quickly went to the house, you know, put one or two materials together, the paper pop, paper mache, wire gauze, garry cup, and all that to, to construct what looks like an artificial hand. Though this one is an improved variety of what I did then, okay? Uh, but the first one I made was with paper and uh, and uh, and uh, starch so uh, having done that i now wore my father's uh, long sleeve and that marked my turning point because i could go back to the choir and conduct guess what whenever i conduct the choir people say wow it's wonderful they fell in love with my conduct and my gestures using the artificial hand that i made for myself at the at my ss1 stage of the secondary education uh, other challenges uh, have to do with um, you know, uh, I can, I, you know, a sort of um, shyness, you know, a kind of shyness. People would want to, uh, you know, run you down. People would want to think because you don't have hands that you are Mr. No person. Uh, people would want to, it got to a point in a class when they flog those who had both hands. I feel bad. But I said, why wouldn't a teacher flog me as well? You know, I began to rebel against such. You know, I, I, I was like an activist trying to react towards any small thing I could react. Is it because I have one hand? Do you understand? 
In fact, as I then, I had to immerse my hand in my pocket throughout, two, two four hours. Those are the challenges. There are also other challenges that have to do with gripping things. I, I had in mind to play guitar. I could straighten my hand, but inwardly, uh, but outwardly, I couldn't do that. You know, those things bounced back. It gave me some kind of emotional strength. You go to a point, any small thing I will react, I will fight. But when I discovered this hand, I, 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 I was happier than before. So there are also other challenges that has to do with, you know, holding a nail. I remember when I wanted to construct my locker, my secondary school locker, I couldn't hold a nail. So I could use my hand, my foot to hold a nail wow. <laughs> and strike the nail. There are several challenges. But whatever challenges they were, I, by God's grace, I was able to maneuver. Yeah, that is. Yeah, yes, yes. That is great. Yeah, thank this you. This is really turning stumbling blocks into steps stepping stone yeah yeah now artist artist peter kinsley to those physically challenged persons out there what advice do you have for them those yeah. who see their physical or mental challenge as a burden that they can't move forward they can't get up and move forward what advice do you have to give to those, such people yeah my child my advice to those uh, uh, who are being traumatized in one way or the other, physically, mentally, socially, and otherwise, my advice to them is that they shouldn't, you know, fold their hands and wallow in self-pity. Self-pity is disastrous, okay? You see, uh, when you have a particular challenge, they say when one door closes, will open, okay? If the right hand does not work, the left hand will automatically work, okay? Vice versa. Okay, uh, you know, when I walk, I watch people like uh, Pastor, Pastor Nick, I think Pastor Nick, the man that has no hands and legs, I now see myself as a, 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 a full human being. In fact, I am not a physically challenged, but when I compare myself with what I bet, it's quite unfortunate that most of these physically challenged persons are not being cut out for. But you see, when you are rejected, don't reject yourself. Self-pity will do us more harm than good, okay? I will advise that they find something doing, no matter how small, okay? You can engage in petty trade. You can learn a trade. You can do something just to make sure that you are not, you know, left behind. I see most physically challenged in the street, destitutes, they constitute destitutes. Uh, you know, by begging and all that. Begging wouldn't solve the problem as well. But the government also have a big role to play in the life of all these physically or mentally or socially challenged people. Because uh, they are, they are, they, you have to care, you have to show love, okay? Yes, some people don't have what it takes. Just like what happened to me while I passed uh, to uh, uh, I mean, when I succeeded to enroll in secondary education, but unfortunately, because of financial constraint, I, I, I was not able to further my education to the secondary education. If I didn't go back to secondary education, maybe by now I could have joined the uh, legal beggars along the street. So my advice to those who are challenged physically, uh, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and otherwise, that they should not wallow in self self pity they should struggle they should fight against every 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 odd that or every shortcoming anything that will lead to you know they are being uh, neglected or abandoned <laughs> thank you very much thank you so yes. much artist yeah. artist peter kings thank you thank you once again yeah. for coming now to our viewers out there you've heard it all no matter whichever challenge we are going through, is it physical challenge, social challenge, or mental challenge? Don't see it as a big problem. All you need to do is to just say no to your challenges and get up and move forward. And the sky will just be your limit. Thank you once again, our dear viewers. See, we come your way next time, same session next week. Say bye from me.